We have been together for a little bit over four years. We met in March 2013. Um, and was sort of a lucky year for the two of us. I think we knew we wanted to marry each other like a month after knowing each other. <laughs> so I would say it's been a long time. To know that, I guess that early on was kind of strange, but uh, three, three dates in and I was pretty, pretty sure um, that she was gonna be around in my life for a long time. This is my, my favorite thing about Paul is that he listens. So maybe on our third date or so, I showed him my bucket list that I had written when I was 15 years old. And number one was ride in a hot air balloon. And so he internalized that for four years from our third date and said, um, when he knew he wanted to propose, he knew exactly how he was going to do it. Yeah, I totally knew he was going to do it. He, he'll tell you that I was surprised. She was pretty surprised and uh, scheduled a hot air balloon ride, which was like uh, on our third date, she told us, uh, told us, told me um, that that was one of her top bucket list items. And for some reason, um, that really stuck with me. And so from that moment on, I just knew like that was how I was going to ask her to marry me. But we went on a morning sunrise hot air balloon ride. That was, besides today, the best day of my life. I've, since I saw this venue and I saw where the ceremony spaces could be, I've like had this picture in my head and um, because the weather looks so awesome today, um, I think it's gonna happen. So I'm just really excited for that moment that everything I sort of have dreamed about would actually be coming true. dad that you met someone online yes I heard it from my dad first not you I did my big sister duties and checked him out on Facebook needless to say I approved <laughs> Leah I would not part with you as my big sister to anyone else <clears throat> now that tears come as at the end of my speech as you and I have traveled life until this moment with each other I love you baby Leah I don't want to like luck, so. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for putting Leah in my life. I'm just truly blessed to have known her and have her uh, to support me and be my better half. Um, the anticipation is killing me, so luckily there's only a few minutes left until uh, I can see her come down the aisle. And um, what do you I'm have to say? To okay. I hope God blesses our marriage. I'm sure he will. I love you too. Our wedding day is finally here. It has been 1,526 days, 18 hours, and a couple of minutes of knowing you. Walking home and then driving home from our first date, I called my girlfriend and told her that I could feel that you would be in my life for a very long time. When I saw this card, I immediately thought of you and how being married and loving you were all part of the great list I wrote when I was 15. You, Paul Michael, are my bucket list. You are my life's greatest adventure, my one true destination. up to the sky and say you're beautiful hi paul michael um i cannot wait to marry you today i feel like it's been a lifetime 
waiting for this moment and I'm so excited to meet you at the altar and I can't wait to be your wife. I love you. Hey Leah, uh, obviously getting closer and closer to uh, the big reveal, I guess, the big moment of you coming down uh, the aisle. And the biggest thing is I can still remember uh, driving on 395 to get, running late of course, to get to our first date. Um, and my heart's racing uh, because of the speed limit, but also because I thought, well hey, maybe this is the last first date um, that uh, I'll ever go on. And really kind of having that hope and I think um, that thunderbolt feeling when we kind of made eye contact for the first time was something I frankly didn't think it really existed. Um, but that that love at first sight, like knowing that you're my person, um, that's grown stronger and stronger every day. So I'm looking forward to starting a, a life with you. I am most excited about walking down the aisle with my dad and seeing Paul at the end. Super excited. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. But what's going to happen in just a few minutes is you're going to become a new entity. You're going to be talking about your marriage after this. Know that this is just the very beginning of your life. You've got wonderful things ahead of you a future that you can't even begin to imagine, but one that God is blessing now. Can't you see it? Can't you see it clearly now, my love? Can't you feel it? Sparks and fireworks are dancing. I'm so in love with you Can't take my eyes off you Couldn't take my eyes away for a moment Not a minute if I had to I'm so in love with you Kinda crazy, crazy feeling Simple sort of something real I'm so in love with you There's something about Leah and Paul that makes me start to believe in fate <laughs> in a way that I never have before. You can call me foolish or call me anytime you like I'll be right over. And the luckiness of them both to have found each other online when uh, Paul had passed our house almost every day of his adult life and we had never run into each other. And they grew up only nine miles from each other their entire lives. I was having a little uh, deja vu today and it hit me about our two babies <laughs> that, that are here. But then it hit me, she is not no longer just the little girl who made us laugh. She's graduated to a woman I admire, respect, and even take advice from. And she's found someone whom I also admire to complete her. A uh, parent's best accomplishment is to see their children exceed not only their parents' wants, but their parents' hopes. I couldn't have parted with you, Leah, for anyone less worthy. Can't take my eyes off you. Couldn't take my eyes away from you. I'm so in love with you Kind of crazy, crazy feeling Simple sort of something real I'm so in love with you And 
the name of God, I, Paul. In the name of God, I, Paul. Take you, Leah. Take you, Leah. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Now that Leah and Paul have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I'd like to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Dr. Paul Albright. <laughs> I'm also just really excited about going into the reception room and having all my friends and family, like everyone I love in one room. But I am so grateful every day for Leah's friendship. And of course, Paul. How could you ever be good enough for my best friend? <laughs> for pizza and I met Leah and Leah went to the bathroom Paul's like what do you think and I go yeah she's the one You're, it's way out of your league you won you won the game I, like the band is playing we can wrap it up let's go home <laughs> 